Hi, welcome back to Blissful Divination. I'm Shay, the person behind Blissful Divination. Um, yes, I am stepping out on faith and I have set the camera up like this. I am learning as we go along, people. So please bear with me. Um, it's been a while. I moved. I was moving. It was a lot of insecurity. A lot of things happening in 2020. Oh, you guys. However, I am back. I have my, I'm almost done unpacking. But I'm unpacked enough to start doing some readings. I don't have all my cameras and stuff and all my equipment set up. I'm still working that out. I had some people help me out uh, with moving and they just packed my stuff. Not according to my Virgo way. <laughs> so I'm like still finding stuff. I got to find a lot of other equipment. And as I find it, I'm putting things together. But I did. I touched my own cards. I was like, no. These are right up front, clearly labeled. So I have all my decks. Um, I just, it's just my other equipment and stuff like that is all shuffled around. And, and I'm slowly but surely making my way through it. So I am so happy you guys are here. Um, I'm going to do tarot today. I know, right? Please bear with me. I usually do other divination systems and I have been so in my heart wanting to do tarot so um i will do my channeling type situation where um, my guides will talk to me um and what i don't know i will rely on them and as more time goes on um i think that i'll be able to peel back more and more layers um but it's a journey and let's get to it so what i wanted to know was um Everything that's going on in the United States, oh my, of course, everyone is talking about that. However, um, I my mind works in different ways. And someone said something to me that was really funny. They was like, um, Joe Biden looks a little frail. And I was like, well, he did have some injuries, you know, that it happens. He is older. Um but they were saying he was looking exceptionally frail and they were wondering if Kamala will probably step up and do a lot of it. And I'm like, she probably, he will probably heavily rely on her. However, but I wanted to see what the cards had to say because I have my own opinions and so do others. So let's take a look. Let's see. The question that we will ask is, hmm. Is Joe Biden ready to assume the presidency? We know what the media says. We know what he says, you know, uh, with his rhetoric and stuff. But like, really, Joe? Okay, let's find out what's going on with Joe. Biden. President-elect Joe Biden of the United States. I don't mean any disrespect. I, you know, I was just saying it in a more personal term, but I understand. I don't know that man. I can't call him by his first name like that. So let's see. Um, President-elect Joe Biden. Is he ready to assume the presidency? Joe Biden. Come in. Okay, you guys. So even though I haven't been reading on camera, I have, you know, been reading. I sit with my cards when I watch the news or I play a little game. Like when I get bored, I play this little game, right? Like I'll be watching the news or I'll be watching something. Ooh, 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 don't shake it. Um, so I'll be watching something and then I'll have my cards in my hand. And when I have a question, I'll just ask and pull a card and kind of do it like that. I've been trying to drill myself, you know, because I do a lot of other divination systems, but tarot in my heart of hearts i want it so do tarot so you know i'm trying it and we're doing it okay so 
the first card is the chariot. Okay. I think he's ready to go. He is ready to go. It's something I feel like it's long overdue and he's ready to go. He's ready for his parade. However, what's blocking him, it's a little bittersweet. I really feel like, you know, we've all heard about um, his son Hunter and everything. I feel like it's bittersweet because he really, on that day, he really, really um, would want that to happen. Um, so he's feeling a little brokenhearted about it. It's bittersweet. That's that's the word that I get. Um, every time I ask about the situation and everything that's happening on the 20th or whatever, I see this guy. You know, the knight of, excuse me, the king of swords. Okay. So right now, let me pull over here. Right now, everybody is on guard. There's so much being said. You know, a lot of people are mentally in their head. And I can understand because possibly they overthunk, underthunk it. Is that a word? Underthunk? When you underthink something. Okay. Either way, I think that they didn't go where they needed to go with it the first time around. So I think now they're going to go, you know, overthink it and like there's going to be massive overkill. But I get it, right? I get it. Like you rather be um, overprepared than underprepared. Do you, you know, what we saw at the, you know, the coup attempt, right? We saw that. And so where were the people? That was all. I was like, where are the people? Um, in the past, you know, it was seemed like it was a fun thing to do. You know, I guess when the newness wears off, he was celebrating. He was excited. He was excited. And I think that then he found out, you know, let's go this way. Then he, stuff started hitting the fan. So when we ask ourselves, you know, is he ready? Is he, you know, the senior presidency? I think he is ready, but stuff is hitting the fan, flying all over the place kind of situation going on here. Um, the energy that's coming in, though, that's stimulus money, y'all. He want he ready to give out some stimulus money. I saw those coins and I was thinking, stimulus money. He's 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 poised and ready. He's ready. It's a lot going on, you guys. <laughs> but I feel like coming in quickly, coming in soon is the stimulus money. That's the first one of the first things he's going to work on is that he's saying that this it's, it's his time. It's I feel like, you know, he's completed, like this was his biggest ambition and it's coming to fruition and he is ready. I think he is ready in that respect. He's ready emotionally can he do it? Yes, he can. Um, you know how we wake up on a Monday morning? I feel like, you know how you wake up on a Monday morning? You don't hate your job, but sometimes you don't want to go in there. You know what I mean? You you, you wake up and go, ah, I don't want to go in there. I want to see the people. <laughs> I think he's kind of like that. Ah, I don't want to deal with these fools today. <laughs> but he goes, you know, but I think he's, he's ready. Um, Everybody else thinks that he's not going to be uh, able to do it. Everybody else thinks that, you know, he's going to walk out early and leave. That's what everybody's thinking. Um, but I feel like he's afraid that he is not going to be able to get the things done that he wants to do. You know what I mean? He's going to have to juggle and do some different things because he does have to, you know, reunite the people. And I truly feel like he wants America uh, to be united. And I feel like he's afraid that with so much, there's so much to be done. We know that person that's there now uh, has done a lot to damage the United States, how it's viewed he's done so much and there's so much out there that I feel like he's afraid that he won't be able to um, get everything done that he wants to get done. I feel like 
um, he's going to approach this thing um, with a with a new message, you know, a new message of love, kind of like, let's come together. He's going to ride out there and do what Joe Biden does. You know what I mean? He's going to smile. And I, I, I feel like President-elect Joe Biden is the guy they went to and said, Joe, what you got for us? You're the person that they may accept it from, you know. You're old, you're white. I don't think they said you're old, you're white. But basically, you are you are acceptable to the far right in, in appearance and age-wise type of thing. But in ideology, they differ big time. And I feel like he's going to ride out there. He's the four guy. He's the guy. Like, you ever see those movies where you got both sides lined up and what my guys are showing me is like, you have these two sides, kind of like us. You always see it in these movies. You see it in Braveheart, Group A on this side, the invaders on this side, the good guys or the other guys on that side. And they send a rider out, right? They send a rider out to discuss terms, to, to, to parlay or whatever to say whatever they're gonna do. And I feel like that's Joe Biden. He's going to be the first person to cross that crevasse to try to um, mend things, to, to create bridges. I see a bridge. I see him trying to build bridges. No, is he physically going to build them himself? No, he is the figurehead. He is the symbol, the representative. He's going to be that dignified person that starts bringing respect back to the name. He has a lot of trust to rebuild. He knows, but he's going to ride out and start doing what he has to do to create those bridges. I think that is his his task and his job. Um, let me pull another one. Yeah, King Cups. You know, he cares about what happens to the country. He cares about making sure that people, to the best of his ability, have what they need. Um, he's about the future. So, um, yeah, I see once he gets into his full swing, he's going to sit there and he's definitely going to do a lot of diplomatic type things. He's going to be building bridges He's going to be repairing fences. He's, you know, as though figuratively, he's going to be doing those type of things. I mean, I, I feel so optimistic. I don't feel, um, I feel like he's optimistic. He is. He can do it. He can start this. He can create the structure for the bridge. I feel like he is ready to go. He's pretty aware of where he is. And it is a big task. And I think he's just, as I said before, he is afraid to let people down because he wants his legacy to be positive. You know, he is that next president after the worst president in the history of the United States. And if he doesn't do this correctly, people are going to be like, oh, you know, he got in there and didn't do diddly poo. My life is no better. He didn't do diddly poo, right? Um, but I feel like he really cares about his legacy. He cares about America. He cares about how people view it. He cares about democracy. So all in all, Joe Biden, I think, will do a good job. I don't, like I said, I didn't feel any fear or any hesitation. I felt like he um, really... His only biggest fear is not being able to handle all the things that need to be handled. But we'll we'll keep looking at that. So this was just to wet my feet, guys. <laughs> to get back into the swing of things, I will be doing a lot more um, videos coming up. I'm working on things, so bear with me as we flesh this thing out. And so here we are. It's me. <laughs> if you ever wonder <laughs> who was behind the hands you know it was me so until next time guys 
I'll see you later and thanks for watching.